Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to talk about what is replication, what are the types of replication available in SQL Server, and when to use each type under what scenario. So let's talk about what replication is. Uh, replication is actually a SQL Server feature. Uh, it's a, a back behind the scene, different technologies put together to replicate the data. So when I talk about replication of data, that means you know you have a source and you have a destination. And in replication architecture, uh, the source uh, or the SQL Server uh, uh, data, uh, um, SQL Server instance, um, and the database and the data in the database that you wanted to distribute from source to destination, and that's called publisher. So, but uh, if you really wanted to go in detail how to configure that, watch my rest of the videos. But in this, uh, I'm just gonna uh, briefly talk about the uh, architecture. So we have a publisher, and then uh, we have a distributor. Distributor is the server uh, it, or agent, I would say, that could um, that, that uh, distribute the data uh, to the subscriber. So subscriber is the server that receives the data. It has, subscriber could be a SQL Server instance, or it could be a Oracle data, uh, is, it could database, it could be, um, uh, DB2 or or any other um, actually destination uh, that you would like to have the data distributed to. So that's a uh, uh, real quick the architecture of the replication publisher, the one that gives the data uh, where the data is being read, and distributor is the one that who knows this is my publisher, this is my subscriber. So I'm gonna go get the data from publisher, and I'm gonna give it to subscriber. Subscriber is the destination. Uh, so that's a real quick uh, overview of the architecture of uh, replication. Now let's uh, talk about uh, the types of replication. There are uh, three types of replication. One is snapshot replication, other is transactional replication, and then merge replication. So um, under what scenario do we use each type? Just briefly tell you, snapshot is a heart of replication. All other uh, the remaining two type of uh, replication uses actually snapshot uh, replication uh, in the beginning. So um, if you have a requirement that um, you need to distribute data to different subscriber and that subscriber um, doesn't need the real time data, it could be like a one day, um, you know, the latency could be like one day. Uh, they just need data, last night's data, and they're good with that, then under that circumstances, the snapshot replication is the best way to go. Transactional replication comes into play when uh, you need a real-time data. As soon as um, some updates, delete, or whatever the change in data at the source level, at the pub publisher level, happens, you need to distribute that update to all the subscriber that that's when you can figure um, transactional um, replication because as the name suggests as soon as the transaction happens uh, commits then it's gonna go to the subscriber so there are uh, other detail that how that happens back behind the scene uh, I'll explain in my uh, 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 you know remaining video uh, about uh, replications but uh, so far I'm, I just wanted to give you a touch base if somebody asks you in interview uh, these questions and merge replication, if you have a requirement uh, that you need to uh, keep a publisher and a subscriber uh, in sync, whatever happens on the uh, subscriber side needs to replicate to the publisher and publisher, pub, publisher side needs to happen on the subscriber. So in that scenario, actually subscriber will act as a publisher when it needs to give away the data. And on the publisher side, when it receives the data, it will also act as subscriber. So in, in, in this way, the distributor knows that, you know, publisher can also be subscriber at times and subscriber can also be publisher at time. So that's a, that's a real quick uh, overview of uh, these three questions. I hope it helps.